Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today we are back on the road and it's time for Tier 6, the New Mexico. American Battleship at Tier 6. As you see, I haven't even researched her and we'll do this for the very first time as is common. You'll see my first reaction to it, you see my first battle no matter how it turns out and we'll see what she's like. Again, don't take my initial opinion uh, for, for granted, it, take it with a grain of salt because it's my first time to play this ship and I might, you know, over time figure out how to play it better or uh, just how to do it better. So let's go. Let's research number tier six. New ship unlocked. Purchase ship. And I have no ship slots. <laughs> Excuse me for a second. Okay, as I was saying, uh, let's purchase the New Mexico. Here we go. The commander comes up from the New York. And we're just gonna buy ourselves half the XP. And we'll get a camo onto it since I'm here, just so I don't forget. So I've I've got a couple of camos laying around because the the both the Blitz Pass and the new Leagues are just giving a giving a lot of things. I've got the tent tentacly one, which I don't like using because really, who who would paint a ship like that? This also makes your ship look like a lemon. I don't really see the point of that. This makes it look distinctly Canadian <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why. I don't quite know why. So I'm not going to stick that on a New Mexico. But this one looks um, sufficiently blue and red, I guess. Even though it's more of a very dark blue, but um, yeah, yep, uh, I'll let that pass. Let's go with that. Okay, so off to the armory we go. Uh, and I'm going to quickly upgrade this, be right back. Okay, so what have we got now? We've got 40,000 hit points, which is pretty decent. We've got a 15% damage reduction at tier 6 and a 21% torpedo damage reduction. So we're starting to see that US Navy armor kicking in. That really looks pretty decent. Uh, fire and flooding isn't quite that high yet with the 12.5, but uh, citadel protection as well is relatively decent. Of course, as usual, what we don't have is the speed. Um, I think this is still one of the standard battleships. And the idea around the standard battleships was that they are gradual evolutions and they can all sail together. Because there's no point if you have a, a if you have a battleship that can do 30 knot, but it can't because well everything else only can do 20, so it has to sail at 20. Then you didn't have to put enough engine power in it to make it go 30 in the first place. I think the whole business just ended up stopping when they had to eventually escort the carriers. And they were slowing down the carrier forces. But for now, we've got uh, 20 knots. We've got a relatively decent turn time of uh, 11 seconds. That's not terrible. Kind of my 11 second-ish is kind of my um, my go-to value that I'm kind of trying to get to in battleships. Because it's it feels like the minimum you need to, to avoid, to evade anything and to actually move the thing around a little bit. But yeah, 20 knots is not going to be fast. We have... 356 mils and we've got 12 of them but with a 23 second reload time and I think that decides our our first uh, slot even though we get a 4 degree turret traverse speed which is not great but um, 23 seconds is long well she does she's gonna get the rapid reload skill so at least that's something we have um, a surprising amount of secondaries they're still case made single mounted and the 20, 127 millimeter destroyer guns, 5.7 kilometers, so that's not all that terrible. And the AA starts picking up as well, look at that. I mean, still not glorious, but this is not terrible AA either. So all around, uh, it, she continues in the line of uh, slight and general evolutions, uh, just being a bit better armored, being have, having a bit better guns, other than that, having pretty much the same characteristics. So, what elite bonus can we get here? We can get ship points, uh, hit points, um, 
AA damage and torpedo reduction. Yeah, sure. Battleship modernization it is. Because yes, while the torpedo damage reduction is good, and we have we can slot a module into that, but we can't get any hit points out of a module, and hit hit points help us against everything. So that's the one to go. Okay. Uh details. Yes, we do get the rapid reloads. So let's have a quick look at our commander. The fire supremacy skill is actually something I'm really gonna need here, right? Because I'm gonna have two rapid reloads until that's done. Uh, I might just actually use some free XP to retrain him. There we go, that's done. Okay. Now equipment. Let's see what can we stick into the ship. Um, well, she's not a secondary build for sure with these guns, but um, yes, this would have been nice, but this will have to do because 23 seconds is long. And even with the rapid reload, uh, we do need we we do want to we do want to get the fire rate out. Um, other than that, what can we put? Concealment mod doesn't make any sense. Neither does the propulsion mod because she is so slow that that's gonna give us like what a knot in speed maybe. Mm, we could, but um, let's see. We could let's put the torpedo defense in the third slot. And either the damage control, she doesn't have that high of a fire fire and flood resistance quite yet. But we're at tier 6, so there's a fair amount of HD spammers around by now. We could put it into the steering gear mod to get the turn time around a little bit. But I feel like tier 6 we might get into tier 7 games, so we might hit stuff like the shores, uh, the duka, all those things. Now let's go with the damage control system here. Okay, now that's decided. Uh, what what does that get us in stats wise now? Let's have a look. That gets us to 41,000 hit points, 13.7 fire and flood resist, 25% torpedo damage reduction. Wow. This is starting to get very tanky, that thing. And we get the reload into uh, just under 22 seconds. Plus we get the three rapid reloads. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's throw some supplies in. Reload, hit points, and speed. There we go. And I think we're pretty much all set. It's a pretty ship, isn't she? I mean, look at it. Oh, I like this thing. Super firing turrets, obviously, by now. And looks very, looks very chunky and just generally aggressive. Yeah, I like this one. All right. First game ever in the New Mexico. All right, we are top tier, Independence, New Mexico, New Mexico, New Mexico. Oh, okay, rather popular. There's six, seven New Mexicos in this game. <laughs> Dallas, the Königsberg, and a Fargood. Okay, and we're playing Golden Channel, so that's that can get interesting. Let's see where we're spawning, because we're gonna have to. Well, we're basically meeting our match here. Let's see where this other New Mexico right next to us is going. Okay. Um, forward we lumber. Guns to the left. And I don't know where he's going, but I'm kind of set myself up to go right flank in case this is open. Because if we can get a meat grinder going here between the battleships, and get their guns down quickly. We've got one battleship advantage, so let's see what we can pull off here. Two battleships going left. The DD is a bit hesitant. The carrier seems to be inexperienced because he's only managing a single dive bomber, but he hasn't really done much else. So, okay, it looks like the, the right flank is open. So let's see if we get our first target here. That's a fire good. That's no point in shooting at that. There's a broadside in Dallas. I just need to get in range of that guy. What is he? Our balls got in detected. There he is. Um, is he moving? Let's see if that's gonna hit. Uh, a bit more lead. But uh, that's some decent damage. Okay, right flank seems completely open. Where are they all? Oh no, there's one. Okay, I'm gonna ignore him. 
and see if we can get broadsiding shots in. Uh, New Mexico and start using our rapid reload. Yeah, these shots completely missed. The destroyer is somewhere on the left side. So aggressively pointing the, gun, the nose in. And yeah, let's concentrate fire and see that we can sink one of the battleships first. The other New Mexico is behind the island, so he's not going to do anybody any harm. So we keep an eye on the Farragut, where he's going. Okay. At this point, we don't want to overextend here. Farragut's coming close. So I'm going to reload the high explosive, unfortunately. Yeah, nice. That was the plate, that was the carrier. Okay, nose in. So I'm in top range of the Farragut, he's smoking up. Unfortunately, come on, give me a visual on the Farragut. I need that guy out. Yep, I knew these were coming. Unfortunately, I might be a little bit too close. Oh, that's one torpid from the Farragut. Can I get my high explosive out at him? Oh, he's smug spuggered off. Okay. Back to the armor piercing then it is. At least we got one down. And we do need to revert a little bit. Where's the rest of our team gone? Okay, that New Mexico can go tank a little at this point. Okay, I've lost one turret. So we're just gonna use the rapid reload. Bow in and go tank a little bit while our team is completely failing on the left side, I guess. Oh, that's, that's torpedo bombers again. That's gonna hurt. Can't dodge those. Okay. This might not end well for us. Where is our team? Yep, the, that's gonna kill me. Yes. Okay, well, 38,000 damage. We did about as much damage as we had health, but we did get focused down by the carrier and by the one New Mexico over there. So, none. Capture the target area. Yeah, that would help, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, okay, let's just see how the rest of this battle is playing out, if our team can pull this off. So the, the speed hurts. I would have liked to be a bit faster across the sideline there. Um, with a flanking... Where are you going? With a flanking run, I would have loved to be a bit faster. What's that cruiser? There's a Pensacola. Yeah, kill that Königsberg. I would have loved to be a bit quicker. Just watch your broadside. Okay. Now disengage. Don't sail broadside onto all these battleships. And somebody, please capture the... Yes, thank you. Oh, this took way too long. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's what happens when you sail, sail broadside on in the Pensacola. That, you get hurt. Stop shooting armor-piercing at battleships. And you're dead. Okay, that's one down. Can that gallant make anything happen? Mm, nope, these torps are all gonna miss. How, how do you miss that? Yep, no, don't so. <laughs> How do you miss that? You're right next to a. He could have killed the New Mexico and the Dallas in that. He's dead. Oh, he's carrier sick. Okay. Now, oh, carrier dropping him. So that's a bit of an annoying thing with carriers, really. Um, if uh, you don't have the AA quite to do something about. What are you waiting for? Shoot him. When he's running away, use your secondaries. There you go. You got them for a reason. That was a good carrier player. He really made sure to focus on targets. Yeah, we lost that comprehensively, didn't we? And our carrier... Oh, look, a full health New Mexico. Didn't do anything. Well done, you. Okay, uh, let's try that again. <laughs> Hopefully a bit more successful. And again, carrier. Fuso New Mexico. Three cruisers and then let's get it. Double Nuremberg. <laughs> let's see how that's gonna turn out. So, so far, 
Um, the speed hurts, but uh, the team the teams hurt more. <laughs> okay, so what are we gonna do here? We def we're definitely not gonna go around the flank because we're too slow for that. Uh, what's uh, there's a very yellow ship over here, so we're just gonna stick together here because there's a carrier in play. I don't want to be singled out. Another one of these things, slow and lumbering as they are. And we're going to get into our defensive line here. Uh, we appear to have an AFK kamikaze. Okay. And what is this here? That's a Fuso. So of course we're immediately getting attention from the carrier. Okay, Fuso, I don't know where you're going. But can you make up your mind where you want to go? Because there's a Nuremberg and he needs shooting at. Uh, where is he gonna go? Um, but here-ish. Seem to be very cheeky. Oh, he got away without too much punishment. I would have thought the Fuso and me together could do a bit more about this. It's another Nuremberg. Okay. I want to be on the inside of this. Basically. He's reversing, so I'm just going to get that out, is that about right, and switch the reload on. Seems to be shooting or piercing at me. Good luck with that. Um, are they pushing? No, they're not really pushing, actually. It's just, they're just sitting there. So what's the long-range accuracy on this thing going to be like? Well, he's going undetected, so that's no fun. Let's push a bit more ahead. Uh, there's a Budioni who's out of... Nope. Where's everyone? Come on, people. Where's the destroyer? Destroyer's over there. Okay, so they're focusing heavy on that flank. Of course, we're going to get fun by the carrier again. Nope. I want that Nuremberg back there dead. Where is he? Where is he going? He's going about here-ish. Okay, how's that? How's the dispersion on that one? Nope. He turned. But um, we do need to make something happen on this left flank because uh, there is too much push over here coming. Okay, he's turning in. Come on, give me my guns back. And it's a bad angle, but we'll try over here. No, he's turning out. Okay. Yeah, you, prob you probably want torps on me, do you? Yeah, I'm not gonna have not gonna be having with that. Yeah, he's trying to do a torp run. But I have he's on low enough health. Okay. That's torps out probably. Come on. There come the torps. That's why I'm turning in. There come the torps from the other side. Nuremberg is dead. Now I'll just have to get away before the torps on the other side reach here. Uh, there's an Enskeda and there's another New Mexico that needs dealing with. And where's my team gone? Okay. Reload. And once more, we get loving attention of the carrier. Um, okay, that's a bit of a problem. Because we have an HE spammer and a battleship on our side. So as much as possible. And, and there come the torpedo bombers. Okay, let's see if we can get the Budioni down. You mean Cap? Oh, yes, because... It's a flood? Nope. That needs more lead. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can kite away from this. Yeah, don't set me on fire now. Don't set me on fire. A bit more lead. It's fast. Oh, come on, give me a citadel. Of course, we're being focused by the carrier once more. Everything's on cooldown. 
What's our carrier doing? Come on, chase these chase these things away. And I just need a good hit on this Budioni to make his life extremely un uncomfortable. No, I'm just getting overpens. Um, not super excited about these guns so far. I'm shooting at a seven kilometer range at a at a light cruiser, and I'm getting semi pens. That what is what's 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 about that then? Uh, double fire. That means he's gonna burn me down. Yeah. And that was a couple of decent hits, but um, I'm I'm honestly not excited so far. I'm not feeling these guns. Uh, they they are. Come on, can you sink the Budioni? Oh, you're gonna need torpedo bombers for that. Um, they are not the most accurate. I am not too happy with the punch so far, especially against the. Um, Against like the Budioni just now, like these shots should have, these shots should have sat, and these shots should have should have killed him at a distance of seven kilometers. He was a broad, he was completely broadsiding, and it's not just that I missed him, but it's that um, I got semi pens. So what was that about? I might have to get a bit closer with this thing actually to make the guns work better. It's it's the mid range problem again, like. The guns don't work that well on a mid on a medium range. They work well in plunging on long range, but um, on and they work well on close range. But mid range, they seem to be having trouble. So let's see how this is gonna turn. So I'm 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 good with the armor. She's a sturdy ship. But um, I am so far not feeling these 350 mil guns. So let's see. Let's see if we can get a bit of a better impression this time around. What are we playing against, actually? Okay, we're top tier. Kirov, Omaha, Koenig, uh, New York. Okay, we're top tier. We've got no cruiser support over here because we've just all the cruisers are on the other side. No carriers. Battleships AFK again. Okay, Kamikaze. Hmm, got nothing better to because nothing better to shoot at. Might as well. Let's see if these are gonna hit. Okay, overpens. That's to be expected. I'm well out of his torp range. Am I right? Okay, Omaha. Fast reload. Broadsiding Omaha eight kilometers. At this point, I don't want to overextend. Okay, that's better. Citadel. So plunging fire at like eight, nine kilometers seems to be working well. More or actually, can we push through this? What is there? A New York and a Koenig. Um, tempted to. But there's two of them. So let's start with the Koenig, German battleship, and we might just kite away and see that we can get the destroyer into play. Okay, semi pens mostly. Yeah, broadside arm uh, belt armor is holding up nicely. Uh, where's our dis uh, let's get that Nicholas to work? Ow! Oh, he's a bit. He's actually a bit faster than that. Okay, can I have my guns back, please? Okay, please, Nicholas, make these torps count. So I'm kind of kiting away here from these two because I am under too much fire. So I'm relying on you to help me out here. That wasn't bad. Okay, decent, decent pens at seven and a half against the the Koenig. Why, why was I not able to hurt that cruiser earlier? Maybe just bad RNG. It's possible. Okay, let's see how far can we? No, that's too far. We can't get the guns to bear. Okay, it's two guns out. Too much lead. That thing isn't that quick. Fast reload up. And kite away. The destroyer has given up helping me, so now I've got two battleships and a destroyer on my pro on my side here. Okay. We'll trade space. We've got it. Okay. Turn out. 
to dodge as much of this fire return fire as we can. Actually, I think the other New York has given up because I'm not haven't I haven't gotten any fire from him for a while. So let's turn this around. Yeah, he's realized that oh I don't actually have that much health left. And that's him. Okay. Nice one. Well, let's turn around. And now, Mr. New York, you do realize, heal up a bit, that uh, you're in trouble. Okay, these guns take forever to turn around. Okay, turn into his shot. Most of them miss. Uh, and we've got a secondary range. And I've actually got a decent amount of secondaries. So, okay. Now it's on. I'm gonna get another reload on the secondaries. Primary out. Ow. Last reload on. Should beat his reload, right? Secondaries and primaries. Center line, no citadels at this range against the bottom tier battleship. No, no, I'm not happy with these guns. <laughs> I am literally not happy with these guns. Um, that's a fight I should have been able to win. And uh, they're not punchy at close range. They are good at long range against battleships. So they're, they're good in, in plunging fire. But um, for a brawl, I'm not feeling it. I mean, this was a New York, right? This was a tier 5 battleship. And I haven't really been able to punch through her quite well. Um, and that was at point blank range. So, um, I mean, we've won this, yes. And I've done 67,000 damage, yes. But I would have expected to be able to win this fight against the New York. So... I'm not sure I'm feeling those guns um, in terms of their uh, penetration power at close range or mid range. Long range plunging seems to be working better. The problem, of course, is that, or if you're shooting at cru cruises at short range, but she doesn't feel like a brawling battleship quite yet. Uh, reminds me a bit of the um, of the Alabama in that regard, who had the similar, who I had similar problems with that I just couldn't punch through through the armor plating at short range. So I might have to aim higher and uh, try to get through the deck armor or something. But, um, so yeah, that's the New Mexico, the tier six. Maybe I'm just not used to her and I'll just get there, but uh, she's a pretty ship. The guns, I am not overwhelmed so far. We'll see how it turns out. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your experience is because I know that some of you in the comments have recommended her, but um, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about the guns especially. I'm curious to hear your opinion. That's it for today. Thanks everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye.